Okay, so Falroth the Mega Nerd. We are going to do this again with reduced gear score. Uh, I'm pretty low down here. I'm taking out my cloak just because it was the Phantom Veil, which you get from this guy. Uh, I'm using just Veil of Frost, Chaos Volley. Currently, we're the damned here. Make sure you clear out the ads. Uh, clear out the whole city before, the whole village before you do this. Oh, also something to note. Ward of the Damned is actually probably not the best thing to use here. Because these skeletons actually trigger his counter. So we're going to swap to Chaos Barrier. So we don't have to worry about that. You can use Frost if you want. Uh, I use Chaos Barrier because Chaos Burn is just that much. It's just good. It just will slowly do more damage. We're using Reaper here. This is General Soul Reaper. The E is really strong. And again, this beginning part is just kind of mindless. Don't hit the counter. Just take your time. Uh, you can use... What's nice about Reaper here is that you can cue him away from you. So you can throw the Reaper. Uh, the Reaper E. And if he decides to uh, walk to you, you can just cue him into it. Okay, so this spot here, we have these little Banshees show up. We just need to walk away from them. They charge up for a while, then they'll dash. Got to be careful here. Just wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. And then dash whatever you can. You got to keep that distance because... They could do some big damage if they chain on you. So it's kind of dangerous. Just kind of walk around in a circle. Get ready to dash. You can absolutely use Veil of Chaos here as well. Again, I'm using Frost Veil. Alright, so when he goes invisible like that, time to take the reins. He will come out and kind of do the, the slasher E on you. And you just want to dash whenever he becomes not invisible. And he just keeps cycling around this this move set. He spawns all these little banshee guys. Oh, didn't clear these ads. So these ads definitely need to clear out the whole city, whole village. I keep saying city. Uh, these ads specifically will do some big damage to you if you're not if you're not uh, careful, which is why I like to kill them first. So you'll see there, use E, cue him into it. Oh, he countered. Missed that up. That's okay. He's invisible. Get ready to dash. Dash. Easy. Throw another E out. He's distracted. Right, when he does this, he charges up. Look, even if you do damage to him, like, yeah, you can if you want to. But there's just so many of them, and it's, like, not really worth it, in my opinion. Just keep running. Kite him away. That counter doesn't trigger if the E's already going. And be careful, because I'll show you right now the damage we can take. So you can take damage there. One, two, three. Look at that. Big damage. Gotta be careful. But it's honestly not that difficult. Yeah, see, I got baited out by the counter. It's not that difficult as long as you're just kind of really paying attention. Get ready to dash. And we dash. Throw that E. Punish him. Cue him into it. And just keep it up. Here comes more friends. See, look, the damage doesn't even do enough to kill him. So we're just going to keep walking around. Back off a little bit here. Be careful uh, not to get too close inside this... Uh, zone to the left here because there's a lurker who likes to live around this area so I'm, I'm this is probably a little too far in he's probably around here somewhere just try to avoid it all right here he comes you can block this with chaos barrier nice smack him away here's his counter we don't want to trigger the counter because that's just more damage you have to deal with if you take your time it's not that hard to just avoid hit these guys get him to be triggered dash away here they come. Dodge this one. And then dodge this one. Cool. Here he comes. Dash away. I mean, he's just on his last legs here. I probably could just walk up and kill him, but just in case, we're going to do it like this. Just take it nice and easy. There we go. Oh, here's a counter. And he's dead. So, again... That's Fal Falaroth, the Mega Nerd. Super annoying. Super annoying. But once you get his move set down, it's not too difficult. As long as you clear the village, make sure as many of the ads as possible are dead so they don't aggro onto you. Uh, and you just, again, keep the distance. Uh, I use Veil of Frost. You know, this is my setup here. You can use Veil of Chaos as well. It actually probably helps a lot with the Banshees, but I just like Veil of Frost for a little bit of damage tanking if needed. 
And then uh, Chaos Barrier over Ward of the Damned because those skeletons will trigger that counter and he will not go after the skeletons. He usually goes after you. So just got to be careful with that. But anyway, uh, that is Falrot. And uh, we will catch you in the next one.